Pokemon Go was a very famous IP. There's a reason that people jumped onto this, and it's because it was easy for them to understand, and they, they liked the characters. Pokemon is owned by a company, Niantic, and they have essentially gamified the real world. The game is built on Google Maps. So when you open your phone in the app, you see a Google Map, just like if you're going to go around and get directions someplace. And on it are a, little, a lot of little dots, and those are the Pokemon creatures. And it'll say, go to the library. And you'll come to the library, and you'll look around, beep, 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 and there's the Pokemon just like that. It's augmented in the real world on your phone. And then you battle it, and you put some powers at it, and if you're good enough, you get the Pokemon. And then you can win a gym, which is sort of a big area for Pokemon. Now, uh, Ni Niantic would say to you, if you were to say, Pokemon, I don't like the Pokemon for whatever reason, they would say it's not there. It's not there. It doesn't exist there. Go ahead, look. You don't see it. Just like the yellow line in football is not there. However, if I take the phone and I move it over here, I don't see it. If I move over here, I don't see it. It is there. It only exists there at that x, y axis in the world. So this means you have to rethink what it means to own space. You own the digital space because it's within the three-dimensional space that you've already bought. And you need to defend that space vigorously. Now this game happens right there on the sidewalk, but it doesn't always exist on the sidewalk. Sometimes it's on property, personal property, commercial property. So I come into your courtyard, I come into the lobby, I'm in the food court, I'm on the front lawn, I'm in the back area, I climb the fence, and I'm playing Pokemon. I slip, I fall, I sue the guy that owns the building. Simple. This person did not know that they suddenly had this activity going on it, they didn't invite it there. If I come into your lobby and I'm gonna do a puppet show the week before Christmas, there's a lot of questions. What's the content, who's gonna be here, how's it gonna play out? Where is a safe area for it to take place? And of course, the most important question before I even walk in the building is, would you supply an insurance certificate with me? Which is gonna be standard. No insurance certificate, no discussion, no explanation. Remember, not paying attention, I fall off. Dangerous, very, very dangerous. But Pokemon's fun, it's a kid's game, you know, my kids are playing it, that's cool. I'm suddenly the great dad because I'm going out and I'm in the park and I'm playing with them. It's awesome. What happens when this turns into Call of Duty? And someone shows up at three in the morning with a gun? Grand Theft Auto, Halo. There's zero reason to believe that, not, that that's not gonna happen. I can guarantee you that it's happening because I know it's happening. Minecraft comes out, also fun. But what do these things do? They cause people to uh, come together in groups on property without permission, without any identification. Also, this is a money maker. So just like we talked about with Snapchat where they're collecting data, Pokemon is even more nefarious. So you are playing the game. I'm imagining very few people in this room would be good at Pokemon. So you'd be playing and it would recognize that you're not good. And it would say, hey, you're not good. Let me help you. I'm going to make you better. Give me five bucks, and I'm going to give you these Pokeballs or other special uh, powers that will allow you to beat that Pokemon and move on to the next level. That's like someone walked onto your property, set up a card table, and started selling watches and encouraging people to not pay attention and run around. So if you were allow Pokemon, if you talk to them or any game, just like you would allow any activation to come on your property. You agree with the content, they've come out, they've looked at the area, you've cordoned it off, you found it to be good, you have somebody paying attention, you should make a piece of that money as well. This is an activity that's happening in your lobby. You should, if, you're, if you're not paid, like if I brought a food truck to your event, I'd have to pay you something to be there. Whether that's a percentage of my revenue or it's just a fee. But either way, if they're generating revenue as a, as a result of your property, just like Starbucks would be, you should make money, but certainly be protected.